friends, it's Shabri. Welcome back to the channel for another part of our Whimsy Let's Play. I'm starting maybe not exactly where we left off in the last episode. We're actually about a day or so after the last episode. I wanted to play a little bit off of camera, off of camera and um, kind of get Nick's skills up a little bit because I feel like I was a little bit behind where I wanted to be with this challenge. So we played a little bit off camera here and honestly we didn't get very far um, and not a whole lot actually happened except for something that may or may not be a little bit obvious. You might be looking uh, where Nick is right now and be like, uh, this doesn't really look like her home and in fact, it is not. At least it's not the home that she was in in the last episode. So between then and now, I went ahead and gave Nick's home a little bit of an upgrade. It's still the container home that she was in last time, just 2.0, a little bit more fancy. I went ahead and gave her some windows, um, changed out that door that she had because in my opinion, it was way too big. We have minimal space as is. So that door was just way too big and taking up way too much space, but I wanted to give her a bunch of windows. That way she didn't need a whole lot of candles and lights and she could just kind of let the natural, uh, light in. And I also went ahead and sectioned off her house. So she now actually has her own bedroom and bathroom area. And I think the most important part is our Nick has a kitchen. I am so excited. She has worked up to this moment and she is finally here. She no longer has to use the dumpster for food. She can actually start to make actual meals. Um, I want her to grow as much of her own food as possible, but whatever she can't grow, we'll just go ahead and get uh, we'll just go ahead and get in groceries. Uh, right now, she doesn't have any groceries, so we'll have to get some here in a bit. But yeah, that's her home, and I love it. I really love this whole like sleek, like modern look to it as well. That's usually not my style that I tend to play with, but I just thought it really fit this situation. Um, eventually, we'll actually get some decorations in here and fill it up with plants like she is supposed to. But for now, we um, I kind of just ran out of fun, so we didn't really have that. Everything else is basically the same. I did give her this little back porch area um, where she has her candle making station, her yoga mat, and then of course Sunny's. Ooh, <gasps> ooh, it's the lottery. That would be, we'll come back to that. Um, Sunny's little area, so Sunny has a nice little place to lay. Uh, we have all of her eco appliances. Honestly, I didn't even know what to do with this thing. It was just kind of like sticking out. So I just threw it in the corner. Um, and then of course we still have her garden, which I didn't change anything on that. Since the last episode, I did go ahead and try and work on her career and her fabrication skill. And I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if she has some trait. Um, ooh, and we'll get into that in a second. I did download a new mod. But, are you hot, babes? Oh no, she's cold, it's, honey, it is 78 degrees out. Why are you getting in your sweater? I don't know. Anyway, um, where was I? Uh, I don't know if it's because she has some type of trait that makes it hard for her, but she cannot get into the next level of her fabrication. I made her make two rugs for her career and um, she has made a couple of candles now and her fabrication skill just does not look like it has gone up at all, which is really frustrating too because she has a tiny home, which is supposed to help boost her uh, skills, I thought, but it just, I don't know if the skill is just really hard to get up, but she cannot... I, I don't know. She can't get it up. <laughs> anyway, so a few little things. It looks like our baby Sunny is here, is hungry here. Oh, level up in fabrication skill. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I will try that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try in and um, just make her make a lot of candles that we can sell on the uh, selling table and see if may maybe that helps. If not, I may have to do some, some testing around because her skill just does not look like it is moving. What is she at? What is the percentage? 44%. I'm going to have her make one more candle here. 
while we chat about some things that happened and see where she is. If it doesn't go up at all, then I know that there's something broken. But anyway, you may have noticed this little pop-up that came up and it says, an unhappy life. Things are improving for Nick and it's certainly a good effort. Nick still needs some good things coming her way for life to improve, but it's getting there. Uh, to continue improving Nick's quality of life, try completing some wants, getting into a new relationship, or job, or even trying for that promotion. So this is a new mod. I believe it's by Missy Hissy, the same person who does the personality and hobbies mod that I mentioned in the last episode. And it kind of gives a quality of life to your Sims. And I just honestly thought that was pretty, pretty perfect. Um, especially for Nick, because she, her life is definitely unhappy right now. But she is getting there, so I think that's pretty, pretty great. But basically, this mod makes it to where you kind of have to do your whims and your wants and uh, make sure that your sim basically has a happy life. And uh, if not, then you're going to have an unhappy life. I think there's like a mediocre life. Uh, there's like a very happy life. It's a pretty in-depth mod, and I, I really like it so far. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. I think that very well fits Nick and her situation right now. Um, it's not the best life, but it's not the worst life either. And she's definitely getting there um, and trying to build build her life. Okay, so it's at 53%. So it is going up. It's just going up incredibly agonizingly slowly so that's kind of unfortunate i wish it was like her gardening skill she can get that up pretty fast um so it looks like she does have some crops here uh to take care of her garden as well um yeah and she did make three different candles so we could probably go ahead and sell those on her table today um i was also thinking i know we spent the last episode with Dawson but I, I kind of want to see him again and see if we can kind of get anywhere with him um she's not getting any younger and like she said in the little pop-up here you know maybe she wants to try getting into a relationship and I kind of I think that she really likes Dawson I think she's a little bit hesitant. I think she's a little bit scared about putting herself out there, but I think I, I think that they're cute together. Um, when I was editing the thumbnail for the last episode, and the more that I look at them, I honestly think they actually do look kind of cute together. So I think they would make cute, cute babies too. So I want to try and explore something with him. It may not go anywhere, and then if, if it doesn't, that's completely fine. But I think the rules of the challenge was that it had to be love at first sight, and I think that kind of fits them pretty good, at least for Dawson, because he, he ended up really liking her. Um, so much that he actually had like a crush on her, so we'll see that. Um, so I, I want to have him over either today or maybe go and see him today. Um, the other thing that I really had on my agenda, oh yeah, this was also something else when I was, um, playing a few days off camera. I also saw that in her, uh, what are these things called? Milestones. She, um, actually fell in love with him, which, okay, I think it's a little bit fast. Uh, she doesn't have like a huge, huge relationship with him. She doesn't know him fully. So it's a little bit fast, but I think that is so much, that, that's more that she maybe is just interested in the idea of something with him. I don't know. We'll have to kind of interpret that however we see fit, but I thought that was interesting. So she, she did get the milestone that she fell in love with him, which was, which is pretty cute. Look at our little um, pumpkins. Are those ready to harvest? They're not. Uh, do we have anything to, to do with our bees? Uh, so we can collect some honey. So go do that. And I really want to work on her skills. Ooh, and tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So with that, I was thinking that we would maybe, I, I think the Tinkers are hosting a little bit of a get together with their friends and family. So as we know, Tina is Nick's bestie. Tina absolutely loves Nick. She thinks of her as part of the family. So I think that they're probably going to go and invite Nick over to Thanksgiving tomorrow, which is really, really sweet because I don't think Nick has ever had a Thanksgiving. She's never had a family to have a Thanksgiving with. So this will probably be her first. And there might be a little bit of a surprise too. Um, somebody might be invited that we didn't know Tina knew. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, I think we'll probably get to Thanksgiving in this episode and 
we'll kind of kind of play with that um, tomorrow. But for today, I think today is just going to be like a really big hustle day. I we really need to get a move on with her skills and knock out some of these challenges that we or some of the um, oh goodness, what do I want to say? some of the objectives objectives that we have on the challenges. So I want to go ahead and sell all of these. I did go ahead and put some of her fruits and um, some of the herbs that she has in her fridge. That way she can start making some fresh food. Um, I think we could probably go ahead and also start another flea market and try and sell some of these candles and roses that she has and hopefully somebody buys them. We're not hurting on money. We actually have a pretty good bit. Um, I don't know when her bills are going to be or due or her property taxes. So we're going to have to, oh no, this off the grid household is used at the last of its power reserve until power is achieved. Objects that need power no longer function normally or at all. So is there something wrong with her? No, there's nothing wrong with her. Yeah, we need to get her handiness up too, eventually. Did we just, let's see. Yeah, we're storing everything. I think we're just using way too much power. Oh, and also um, today is the lottery. So, I mean, do we think that Nick would buy a lottery ticket. I don't know if her whole objective is going to be really becoming rich. Um, she wants a happy and fulfilled and sustainable life. And honestly, money would, would really help with that. And also on a gameplay side, I don't think I've ever had any of my Sims ever in the history of this game win the lottery. Um, I think that was introduced with what seasons maybe. And I Never. So since Seasons has been out, I don't think anybody has literally ever won it. So it could just honestly be a waste of, I think it's a hundred million. So I don't, I don't know. We may not. But let's see. I love how Sunny just, he is such a wonderful little companion. He truly, ooh, Ollie. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, he just honestly just hangs around Nick all the time. Like, he absolutely loves her. Uh, we took him to the market space with us, and he just would not leave her side. I don't know if he's just super protective of her, but they have just absolutely clicked. He's just always around her, and I just, I love him so much. He's so cute. And I love these, like, super realistic animals. So, I love him. He's so cute. And he's so friendly. He always hangs out whenever anybody comes around. Did somebody buy something? I can't tell. Oh my gosh, we're actually getting along with somebody, but of course it has to be the vampire. Who is this? Tanisha? Oh, wasn't, isn't that the wife of that vampire that also hangs around everywhere? View a piece of art from being creative. Um, she wants to ride a bike, which I mean, we can maybe do. We don't really have to dumpster dive anymore since we're kind of making a living selling and doing our garden oh and apparently now it says that we're generating a power surplus i guess because we are, we haven't been inside and haven't been using our uh our fridge or anything that's the only thing the fridge and the stove i think are the only thing that generates a power surplus or like a uses power because all of her lights are like little candles so they're they function off the grid okay so that was it um we didn't make a whole lot of money i don't know how to get people to buy things i don't know well that makes a lot of sense um <laughs> she has this moodlet that says i love rocket science from liking fabrication um okay that makes sense oh did she pee herself oh yeah she did i think it was what in the first episode well, go to the bathroom, baby. What are you doing? How many? Oh my gosh, this skill is the worst skill I think I have ever played in The Sims. I don't remember it ever being this hard when I first played Whimsy. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am thinking, it, since it's getting a little bit late, um, and I believe in one the last episode, she had a want to actually go on a real date with Dawson. So I think that's actually what we're going to do. Look at her little face. I love her. Anyway, so I think we're going to call Dawson and ask him out and see if he wants to go... I think that's probably my favorite trait of Nyx is that she just she just toots everywhere. It's fine. We love her for it. But I want to give him a, a, a quick text and see if he wants to go out anywhere. Maybe he'll reach back and... Are you hungry, sweet? Okay, it says, um, I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Uh, but he wants to go bowling? Oh my god, that's so cute. I wonder if there'll be food. <laughs> but of course we'll go. Let's see, what world did he magically teleport us to this time? So we're in Oasis Springs. She's so tired. Do we have an energy replacement that we can buy? Instant fun. Um, sleep replacement, 400. Yeah, we can go ahead and get that real quick. Because I don't want her to be super, super tired. Um, I know that she's like absolutely starving. But I want her to drink that real quick. Do you have to go all the way inside? Also, not to mention, it is at 71. She can wear a sweater if it's 71. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? <gasps> Did he leave? Okay. <laughs> so, I think... Dawson tried to skip out on us, but we were like, uh, mm -mm. no, you said you wanted to go out, so we are going out. Look how she's acting. I, oh my gosh. Okay, so I was about to say, I, I love how Dawson always seems to have a RBF. Like, he doesn't seem to smile ever. Um, and the way he looks at her sometimes is kind of like, are you happy or are you not? But he is all on her. Like, he autonomously flirts with her all the time whenever they're around each other each other so i love that he seems like he seems like the really like tough like stoic type guy but is also like a really like a sweetheart inside so i i think that's kind of like why i like him and i yeah i think she's kind of she's getting into him which i think i think is pretty great so let's come in let's see what is there to do look at this place it's so cute um, what if we came over here? I know we're hungry, but it says we want to sit and talk to our date. So let's go over here and knock some of these wants out real quick. Okay. We love that. Why don't y'all just come over here and, um, why don't you just bowl a little game and we'll kind of see how you guys interact. But she did get this want on her date to kiss a sim. So it does look like that, she, like she wants to kind of take it to the next level and have a first kiss with Dawson. So, babe, babe, <laughs> what are you doing? So I think that's something that we can definitely explore after our date and see if Oh, I see how it is. You can get the bowling skill, but you can't get the fabrication skill. I'm done with you, love. Oh, is he all flirty? Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Are you looking at the bowling pin? Oh, wait a minute. Is he talking to this little girl? Is she telling him about, is she part of the bowling team? Wait, does he like children? That is something that we need to know because we know, even though Nick doesn't want children right now, she eventually does. Um, she wants a family, maybe a big family. So, and see, look, she's coming over and talking to this little girl too. Wait, why don't we go ahead while we're here talking to this little girl? Why don't we actually ask Dawson what he thinks about, about having a family one day? Since maybe he, maybe he's really good with kids. What do you think? I'd be all right with having a child. I'd also be a right, all right with not having a child. I mean, that's fine. I mean, maybe he's also kind of on the fence right now. And maybe later on, um, he'll want a family. Or maybe he, 
Maybe he, he's just okay with not having a family right now. So I'm completely fine with that. Let's get to know him. I think we need one more trait for him. He's also unemployed, which I think kind of adds to the, like, you fall in love with another homeless sim. So maybe he just doesn't have a job right now. But maybe eventually <laughs> he's lactose intolerant. I think that kind of fits. He looks like he would be. <laughs> Look at him looking at her. Y'all, he is smitten. He can't keep his eyes off of her. I love it. Are you guys done bowling? They're just like, can you, can you go bowl? I want to see you kick Dawson's butt. Which I think he's letting her win because he hasn't pulled at all. Can you go do something? Oh my god. This little girl will not leave us alone. Okay, well, we're done bowling for the night. Is there food or is there a... be funny okay why don't you come up here and maybe order maybe not drinks but maybe we could get some bar food um it doesn't look like we can get anything other than chips but that's fine we'll get a quick thing of chips and then maybe come over here and have us both sit and maybe we can Get to know him a little bit more. No. No. Y'all, I just saw this. So she developed a bad compatibility with Dawson. Based on their preferences, these sims have bad compatibility. Their affinity from the start won't be great, but it could certainly be worse. While if, while it'll be a challenge for them to grow close, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not worth trying. Even though they have compatibility, they could still... <laughs> Let's admit to having a little experience. I mean, Nick is still really young. Like, she has a... I don't think she's ever had a boyfriend or anything. I don't think she's ever had um, any type of relationship. But, so, saying, like, even though they have bad comp compatibility, it doesn't mean that they can't work out. It just might be... It might be an opposites attract type of situation, which I can see with them. It seems to me like Dawson's more of like the indoors, like computer geek, like likes video games, being inside, that sort of thing. Whereas Nick is definitely an outdoorsy type sim. He likes to get her hands dirty, be in the dirt, garden, and things like that. So I don't know. They definitely have that. Um little bit of a difference but I don't know if that would be enough to keep them from working right see and this is the thing if they have bad compatibility why does he always always flirt with her like he absolutely like I wouldn't say he loves her just yet but he likes her so much can we really quickly get a good date? I don't want them to have a bad date. And things about outdoors. And their relationship seems to go up pretty fast despite that bad comp compatibility. So I don't think it's like necessarily a deal breaker. Maybe that just means that they'll have a pretty realistic relationship if they were to pursue something. Like it's not all roses and rainbows and, and you know, oh, they just became good friends. Like maybe they just have to work at it like any normal re relationship. Oh, come on. We have five minutes. Yay. Okay, so I mean, they had 
a, a silver um, quality date, which is decent. I mean, this was technically, this was their second date, but like their first official date where they went, like, I guess through the game system. So nice date. There are some flowers in your Sims household inventory to remember it by. Did he get her flowers? Are you going to leave us? Don't leave us yet. Hold on. Because even though we're not in the date anymore, we did want to maybe see if there was any type of romantic feelings because we have been talking a lot and he's been flirting with us but what does Nick feel does she like him romantically and I think she'll figure that out if she really takes that first step and she kind of does the first move okay so let's go out here I need to I need I need a good place hold on oh <gasps> no not over by the fountain hold on Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, so they just went out and they just had like a lot of fun, okay? And now we're over here and we're making a wish. And he's probably like, you know, what'd you wish for? And it's like, I can't tell you that. It won't come true. And I think they're probably gonna get a bit closer. And she's like, I can't tell you. It's a secret. Get off your phone. <laughs> oh, wait, is he probably, do you think he's probably like, you know, this is our second day. So like, do you want to maybe get a picture together? You know, he's very techie. So maybe he's, he's into that sort of thing. So let's get a quick picture. Oh, romance, a little stressful. Nick is not too used to romance yet, and sometimes it's stressful to be near a love interest when your romance skill is low. What if Nick says or does the wrong thing? I I love her so much. And she's like, yeah, let's take a picture together. That'd be cute. And her little Friday the 13th outfit. I hope they do it facing the, the fountain. I think that would be super cute. <laughs> I love that one. That was cute. Not the smooch. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, it's giving... It's giving face. Um, it's also giving cheekbones. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, so I want to take these. Get a couple of those. So, Dawson is basically just saying how much he really likes Nick and he's really attracted to her and I think you know what no I, I really do think I'm controlling Nick or uh, uh, Dawson just for, for a sec here um but I really think that Nick is gonna be the one to make the move like I think it just I think it's a par empowering if she's the one who does it you know she's like I don't have a lot of experience I'm really scared to put myself out there oh my gosh and he's like hey you know what no worries no worries he's like i like you for exactly who you are who you are and we don't have to rush anything i i think he is completely okay with taking it however she wants to Oh my god. I'm not gonna squeal. I'm not gonna squeal. Oh, they're gonna squeal. Look at them. Do you think he likes it? I don't know what this pose is. It's supposed to be cute. Is it cute? I think it was cute. A little weird. Dawson and Nick are both having their very first kiss. Oh my gosh, are we her for his first kiss too? I'm too excited. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, okay. And Nick is having a better life. It says it's not good, it's not bad. In fact, it's just fine. Nick's life, have, Nick's life has certainly improved, and now, while it's certainly not a fulfilling and happy life yet, it's a vast improvement on the state of things before. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. Dawson, um, that's the only thing... Oh! 
Okay, Mr. Dawson, um, we're gonna stop controlling you now. But that's the only thing about this mod is all the townies and um, unplain people, uh, Sims also have uh, like the, the quality of life, but because you're not completing whims with them, all of their lives are miserable. So if we end up playing with him, it will, it will just be something that we have to like work towards and complete his, uh, maybe not quite yet. Um, we'll have to complete some of his whims. Um, let's, okay, so it's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I don't know. Nick doesn't have anything with her, and I don't know if Dawson does either, and gosh, she cannot get pregnant right now. We have no room in our house, but I mean, that'd be one way to decide who her, her spouse is, but do you think that she would take him back to her house? I think she's a little bit more comfortable having people over. Like with Tina, Tina was her best friend, so she didn't care for Tina to see, but like having, having a particular, uh, a potential partner is a little bit different. But do you think she would have him over? Let's discuss romantic compatibility real quick and see like what he has to say. Like what does he want out of a relationship? Does it say? It didn't say. Playing <laughs> it's cute. Is he leaving? Oh my gosh. I think he was being a gentleman and I think he wasn't exactly ready to take that next step. So I think we're probably going to leave it there with their date and not push anything. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with Dawson. Um, it's a little bit interesting with the compatibility thing, but could still work. I think it could. Okay, so I was trying to get Nick um, situated before we headed over to the Tinkers for um, Thanksgiving, and we got the this notification. We got the um, a knock on the door, and Tina's here a little bit early, and it says, I fabricated something cool for you last weekend because I think you're pretty cool. Can I come in and show you? So she got us a little bit of a, um, a Thanksgiving gift. So that that's really sweet. I mean, Tina probably knows that Nick's never really had a Thanksgiving, so I bet you anything. Who are you? Okay, cool. Um, she probably wants to make it the best that that she can. You know, not that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here. Do you mind if I hang out for a bit? Yeah. Well, I mean, you actually need to go back and prepare for your party. <laughs> she got us a plumbing upgrade part. Well, thanks. That's actually pretty cool because um, we actually now have a we have a um, soothing snuggle girl. Um, we actually have plumbing, but we'll we'll thank her. Do we have? Yeah, we have a um, a candle. Why don't we actually go ahead and give her, I saw that we can give her a crafted gift. Why don't we give her one of our candles and see if she likes that? Let her sample the goods and see see what she thinks of our quality and maybe we can make something out of her business. Does she like it? Do you think she's telling her about her, about her date with Dawson last night? No. Um, have we actually, I don't think we have, have we? Hold on. Have we become best friends with Tina? Coworkers, neutral chemistry. No, it doesn't look like it. Can we? Yeah, let's become best friends with Tina, finally. Oh, yay. They're so cute. I love them. Okay. So I think we're going to head back to the, um, head back with Tina to their house and help prepare for the Thanksgiving party that we're going to have. So we are prepping for the party. It hasn't exactly started just yet. Tina is in the kitchen cooking up some turkey for dinner. And I just wanted to show you guys little, um, what's her name? Olive. I just wanted to show you guys little Olive. Uh, Nick is... Well, she's, she might 
be changing her mind a little bit. She's getting a little bit older, and she she absolutely loves her loves her best friend's daughter. Like she thinks that she is super cute and she's super fun to be around. And, and I don't know. It kind of makes her wonder. Like what what if? What if she had one of her own? What if she had a family? But who who would she have a family with? Um, Dawson? Da I don't know. I don't know. But being around this just wonderful family of... Oh, and by the way, yeah, of course we brought Sunny. Sunny is part of the family. Sunny has to come to Thanksgiving with us. But being around this, like, sweet little eco-friendly family um, just makes her, makes her want one of her own. And I, th I think that's something... I think that's something that she just needs to think about a little bit. Alrighty, so we are back. Um, it looks like Yasmin is already helping herself to some pie, and so is Nick. Um, I would probably start with the turkey, but you know, I'm not gonna tell them what to do on their Thanksgiving. But the party has started, and all of the guests are showing up, and yeah, um, he's not the first person I thought would show up but he's already yelling at our dog um yeah so the tinkers know miles um yeah you guys remember the guy that was at the halloween festival yeah um they're family friends with him they know him very well um in fact he lives just across the street from them so yeah they know him pretty well. Um, I was also wanting to see, it doesn't look like, I promise I invited other people. Um, yeah, there we go. We've got some people out here. So along with Miles and the Weller family, um, the Tinkers are also good friends with the Greenbergs. So we've got Knox and Blossom. Uh, they should be around here somewhere. But we invited them to their little Thanksgiving and um we're just nick is kind of a little bit a little bit in shock are you having a second helping of pie i mean i'm not gonna tell you no babe but you're kind of like <laughs> i think she's nervous eating because she's like um this is awkward why don't you come over and say hi um brag about dinner party uh why don't we why don't we just ask him about his day and then while i'm at it let's go ahead and change this to maybe maybe some soul and we'll just turn it down to like a nice uh what am i doing we'll turn it down to a nice just ambiance i'll be like oh my gosh i remember you um hi i haven't i haven't seen you in a bit because i mean it's been since what halloween since they saw each other right Holy, oh my, I'm, I'm sorry, but, I'm sorry, but, everybody is loving this apple pie, and nobody has touched the turkey. Where is Tina? Tina? Oh, there's Blossom. I definitely want um, Nick to come out and say hi to Blossom, and Knox, and get to know them. I think that would be fun, especially Knox, since he's the eco master. Maybe he can um, teach us something about being eco or green. So, what did he say? Anything? Can we get to know him just a little bit? Let's see. Let's get to know you. Oh, well, I guess we're sharing some some pictures. <laughs> that she's going to show him some pictures. Maybe she's showing him his, uh, her garden because, you know, she's, like, really proud of that. And maybe she accidentally shows him that picture of um, her and Dawson. What are you two doing? Why are you two staring at each other? I don't know. Oh, hey, Knox. Are you coming? Okay, so Knox is the only one who's helping himself to some turkey. What do you think? Are they going to get along? I don't know. Oh, and also while they're doing that, I didn't want you guys to think that Nick was a little bit of a free litter. Oh, no. So Miles has a temper, y'all. I don't 
know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Anyway, um, I didn't want you guys to think that Nick was a freeloader and literally just like crashing this family's um, Thanksgiving. She did actually bring some wine to the party. That way the adults can partake a little bit. So she went out and bought, what is this, like a Chardonnay to kind of... Um, just, I mean, you can't show up empty-handed to to a dinner party. So she wanted to, she wanted to be a little nice. I'm just, I think I'm more interested. Like, I don't even care about the party at this point. Like, what are they, what are they doing? Ask about the food. Like, did you like that pie? <laughs> we didn't make it, but we did help um, Tina make it. We helped her serve it at least. Oh wait, hold on. Um. I don't think you can thank him for coming, babe. This is not this is not your party. <laughs> uh, let's enthuse about outdoors and see um, what we think about that. But I wanted to look here, and it says that she thinks he is rather charming. You think he is rather charming? And she still thinks that he is basic looking, so she doesn't really have any particular feelings about his look. I'm not letting you have any more pie, no. No, babe, you're not even hungry. You don't eat that pie. No, but is there a way that we can have, um, yeah, why don't we call to grab a, stop eating pie. Oh my God. I mean, I know it's good, but like, Lord, I wonder, can everybody have a glass of wine? Is he going to join? No, he's going to, he's going to have some turkey, but it looks like Tina's going to come and have some wine. Oh, come on. I wanted to introduce myself to you, Knox. I want to get to know you. Okay, you're just going to reset yourself. That's completely fine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at Tina. Is she not so pretty? I love this makeover on her. I think she looks so gorgeous. It looks like they are getting along. Ask about the food. We're going to ask her about the wine and see what she thinks about it. And while you're here, Knox, I want to introduce myself to you. Um... Finally introduce herself. And I want to introduce herself to your mom, too. I thought he had another mom, but um, I don't know if she's here either. Impact conscious? Okay. So he actually likes the fact that she she's pretty green. And, of course, like he is the only person that she has amazing compatib compatibility with. Um... Oh, it looks like she is married, so I don't know. We both think that <laughs> we're both impact conscious. Um, I don't know if they invited his wife. Maybe they went to her side of the family. What's our Sunny doing? Hi, baby. What are you doing? Sunny's having fun. Just chilling. <laughs> Blossom's just gaming. This is such a cute little party. This is definitely the best Thanksgiving that Nick has ever had in her entire life. Look at Blossom. She's getting down. I love it. Can we... Uh, okay, so Miles is unemployed as well. Can we introduce herself to Blossom? I want to say hi to her. She looks like she's a lot of fun. No! Get it, Granny. <laughs> I love this dance mod. It's so funny. I love the shimmy. Look at her. Alrighty. Well, it is almost midnight, so I can't get over. I can't get over Blossom. I wonder, is she any bit? I'm gonna finish her drink real quick. She. I mean, same. He is, he is a snack, but you don't have to be all up on Blossom. <laughs> So are we liking Knox? Are we getting along with him at all? I think so. I mean, their friendship isn't that great. But I mean, look at her French. Oh, my God. You didn't just do that. <laughs> look at her friendship with Miles. Oh, it looks like she is tipsy. But she is having such a great time. I honestly think that she is going to have herself. Let's put this over here. She is, she is going to have herself another glass. Oh, never mind. She is getting a little bit closer, isn't she? Look at that. Who knows? Um, I think.
think we're gonna thank him for coming and i think this just kind of like hey you know it's great to see you again i like i did not know that you knew the tinkers i didn't know that you knew um like my best friends oh my god new personality trait Nick seems to make just about everything her business. Could she be a nosy sim? Makes sense. Nick is the main character after all, according to her. <laughs> Stop. I mean, she is the main character. Uh, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? I don't know. I don't think I've ever played. I don't think I've played with the nosy. What does that mean? She likes the drama. Okay, she likes the tea. But I think we're all... I think um, we're kind of all here for the tea, if you know, you know what I mean. Oh, my shadows are coming off. What are you doing? Are you drinking? Are you drinking your pry for secrets? Do you think you would tell us a secret? Oh no, he didn't want to, did he? Nick has discovered that Miles has the secret fruitcake fumble. What is that? Greeting a new neighbor is supposed to make for an exciting day, but for me, it turned out to be one of the most embarrassing days of my life. I mean, you simply must bring a fruitcake to welcome a new neighbor. I can't imagine not doing it. How else will you help them feel at ease in their new home? But that day, I managed to bake one of the worst fruitcakes ever made. Listen, in my defense, the sun was in my eyes, so of course I couldn't see that I was measuring out a cup of salt, not sugar. Okay? Okay, babe. I don't... Can, what can you do with that? Can't you, like, tell them that you'll keep their secret or something like that? I don't know where that is. Can you tell them that you'll keep it? I don't know. Gossip? Confront about secret? I'm not confronting him. I mean, it's not even that weird. I don't know. Whatever. I would almost say <laughs> that she wants to, um, what was the interaction? Give unwarranted advice. Maybe you could do that. <laughs> because she is a little bit tipsy and she's probably like, oh, I mean, this is what I would do with this fruitcake. Oh, he didn't like that at all, did he? No. Poor thing. Oh my god, that took a hit on their, their friendship, didn't it? Brighton day. Well, we'll tell him it's okay. We all make mistakes in the kitchen. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, I think this dinner party is, I don't think her Thanksgiving was awful. It was actually a really great Thanksgiving, but I just wanted her to, holy crap, she's ovulating. Um, <laughs> I just wanted her to finish her drink and then we'll probably tell, we'll probably tell Miss um, Tina Tina goodbye that we had a the most amazing Thanksgiving finish your drink babe all right so I believe Tina and the Tinker family have called it a night it is almost three o'clock in the morning and um this party this party is over but Nick is as you can see she is rather ooh, not right there Nick is rather drunk she had a little bit too much wine so she lives let's see which way does she live i think she lives past the apartments over there so i mean it's quite a walk um she does have her bike but i don't think that nick should be <laughs> operating any type of vehicle right now whereas miles he he didn't really have anything to drink right so i think he is just kind of he he he's offering to take her home, you know, just drop her off. But, um, yeah, you know, he's kind of just, he's, he's telling her, you know, he has a car, he can take her home. Um, you know, he hasn't had anything to drink, whereas, you know, she's pretty drunk right now. So, um, he doesn't want her, um, getting into to any trouble while, <laughs> while inebri inebriated. And they actually, they, they know each other a little bit. So it's a li she's a little bit more comfortable going home, um, or letting him take her home, um, than, uh, than a Knox or Blossom, but um, yeah, we're just gonna head home for the night.
We are home. We have our baby and um, we are going to be beheading in a little bit. I do think on the ride over, um, Nick has sobered up a little bit. Definitely not enough to drive, but she, she, she's good. She knows she's had a little bit too much to drink. Um, but I think she's going to come over here and yeah, she is so tired, but she's going to thank, um, thank Miles for, for being a gentleman and uh, driving her home and making sure that she got home safe for the night. Do you think that we should confront him about his, first, his secret? Just let him know that we think that's hilarious about the fruitcake. What does that do? I don't even know. Nosy lesson. Uh, Nick is a nosy sim in the world of secrets and snooping. Nosy sims thrive. Nosy sims have a few boundaries and will often attempt to pry the information they crave from other sims. Not everyone appreciates the enthusiasm of a nosy sim, but we all know they won't, that won't stop them on their unending quest for hot gossip for hot goss. Um, now that the secret is known, Nick can choose to inform Miles that she will hold on to that secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold, hard simoleons. Ooh, no, Nick is not that type of person. She would, she would absolutely never do that. Um, she a hundred percent is going to keep this secret, even though it's a silly one. How do you do this? Um, Oh yeah, bring in a keep secret, definitely. She's a sweetheart, she would never do that. We promise, we'll keep her secret. Look at her, I love her. Oh my gosh, what is he saying? But um, just as I thought um, the night was over, Nick is, I don't, oh my gosh, this is too chaotic, what is happening? Nick is getting some wants. Um, she is, she's kind of feeling herself, right? Um, she, let's compliment his appearance a little bit. She's in, definitely in a mood here. Um, holy crap. Do you see how fast that relationship popped off? What the heck? Let's tell him he looks good. You know, that wine was strong. And it, it's, I don't know, maybe clouding her judgment a little bit because, I mean, she doesn't really know this guy, but all she knows is he is fine. He is sweet. Um, and he is a really good friend of her, her friends. Like, he's got to be a good guy if, like, the Tinkers know and like him. So... I don't know what I don't know what Nick is thinking. <gasps> Throughout the conversation, Nick got the impression that Miles finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Oh my God, he thinks she's she thinks she's attractive. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and leave this episode off right here. Um, we're not going to acknowledge anything except for the fact that we have this pop-up that says a happy life. Things are beginning to look up and Nick's life seems to be on an upward traje trajectory. Trajectory? Trajectory. <laughs> if Nick can continue to guide life in the right direction, then things could definitely have a rosy glow to them. So... Yeah, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that right here. And we're just going to have to see, we're just going to have to see what happens in the next episode. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, thoughts, opinions, um, <laughs> speculations, um, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking so far, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate, um, all your love and support that you guys have given on this series. I'm so excited for our whimsy and I promise that we will eventually get to more of the challenge stuff, but for now, 
this is where this is where <laughs> Nick has led us. But yeah, guys, if you are enjoying, go ahead and subscribe for more and give it a thumbs up if you would like to. And I will see everybody in the next episode. Bye, everybody.